Hello everyone. Hi. Let me know if you can see me or hear me. I'm losing so much weight, you guys. So um, my clothes are a little big, a little bit. At least I thought this was be a little tight, but it was big. But anyway, um, this is a serious one. So please, please, please share, tag. Let me know that you guys can hear me because I think they be messing with things. You know, when I get on here, you know, everything's is. is I have to just make sure. So that's fine. I'll just make sure. Praise God. Praise God. But um. God had put something on my heart, and to me, it's very serious. I mean, it should be serious to everybody. Um, I'm seeing you guys up at the top. Okay, so I just need to, can you hear me? Just please, 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 can you hear me? I need I need somebody to say it. Because I'm telling you, they be messing with it. It looks like at the top I can see the numbers, but I can't see the the um, the comments. Okay, praise God. Thank you, Conveya. I hope I said your name right. Conveya Brown, thank you so much. God bless you, honey. All right, so um, this is serious, and so I have to go serious with this. Very serious. Um, I think it was like maybe uh, two nights ago, and I was having a conversation, and then I came back, and I was praying, and I was in the room, and I'm telling you, it hit me, and it hit me hard, and God said, Deanna, they keep playing, but people are dying. And I'm, a t I'm, s I'm telling you, this is going to blow your mind. I know some of you going, you know, whatever. God said, a lot of them are going to hell and don't even know it. Y'all don't hear what I just said. A lot of them are going to hell and don't even know it. I'm talking about the young people that are dying. People that you know that are dying. Everybody that say, Lord, Lord, it's not going to make it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It is the way that you act. It is the way that you do on this time, this time around. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm just going to say it how God said it. Say it. I'm not going to beat around the bush. If you die right now, which I rebuke, tonight, tomorrow, are you going to heaven? Do you know for sure? Have you been a good steward over what God said? Have you lied? Have you cheated? Have you mistreated your father and your mother, your brother and your sister, especially in the church? Do you act ugly every day and just say on Sunday, hallelujah, you lying wonder. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And hold on, don't get it twisted. Because before I do videos like this, I want y'all to know, even if I do a thus said the Lord, I am corrected first. I, when I have to do things like this, it, it hit me first because I'm like, I, I want to go to heaven. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to go through the whole story. But the way I was brought up in the church, I promise you, I could, I, I, I've been under some famous people. Y'all just don't know because guess what? They disowned me because I didn't do it their way. Because I was, I was trying to. I'm very transparent. I, I was really trying to. But God gave me a dream that scared me. God said, Deanna, you want this? And that was the fame and everything. You want this? Or you want heaven? And I picked heaven. I, 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 I yes, yes, I, I, I did. Because let's be honest. Most of all of you do. You want a platform. You want houses. You want cars. You, you want to be successful. They call it successful. But but I, 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 I beg to differ. What is success? Because if success is me being all wealthy and everybody around me being poor, is that really success? Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It is, what is success? If success means that I'm driving a Benz, but everybody around me driving a Honda Accord, what is success? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And, 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 and I'm telling you, I'm seeing people fall every day from grace because they're running after success. Now, hold on. I'm not saying God don't want you to have what you need and what you sometimes won't. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying, how do you maneuver from day to day? Do you really pray? Do you really bless your brother and sister? Do you live biblically according to the Bible? Do you do what God said according to the Bible? I'm not talking about these people that preach it. Because half of them ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If God allowed you to be taken tonight, where would your spirit go? And that's deep. Have you ever thought about that for real? And, and, and to be honest with you, a lot of people don't think about it because it hasn't happened yet. But I'm going to tell you something. I, I worked in the medical field for 14 years. As a matter of fact, I used to staff RNs and LPNs. You know, I started when I was 16. Started from a CNA to a unit clerk to respiratory therapist to staff coordinator for over 14 years. And my mother was director of nursing. Long story short, I've seen so much death. And I've seen people in their deathbed saying and crying, I'm scared. 
and I would hold their hand. I'm scared. And they scared me. I wasn't even into God by that time. I didn't, I didn't get to God till I was 27. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm telling you, it scared me because they, 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 they scared. Oh, I didn't do this right. I'm scared. They were scared to die. Y'all don't hear me. And, and I, I know I come with some hard subjects. And that's why people be, be like, I don't know about her. <laughs> I'd rather hear the truth now than to never hear the truth later. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And hold on. I'm not saying be perfect. But I'm saying do your best. Treat people good. Make good choices. If you're going to live as a Christian, Christ-like, then live accordingly. If you're wrong, say you're wrong. Stay humble. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. God said a lot of people are going to hell. Did y'all hear what I just said? That's what that said the Lord. I'm not just making it up. Y'all understand what I'm saying here? Even people that think. Y'all don't hear me. You know, um, I look at the mega churches. I look at the mega leaders. And I'm just going to be very honest with you. I remember in the 80s and the 90s, I used to, oh, I used to love them, especially T.D. Jakes. Oh, my God, that's my spiritual father. And, and actually, I did get a chance to meet him because I was under Bishop Jones for a, or a long time because that's his best friend. And, and I'm just going to be real with you. I, I mean, I had admired them. Even Greflo Dollar, I got a chance to meet him. All these people. And I'm, I'm not trying to hate on these people. I'm telling you. When I really got behind the scenes and saw what I saw, y'all think it's a game what I be saying on here. I, I know some people that, well, she just hating or whatever. You have no idea what I saw. And it turned me. It, it turned my stomach. Because you're thinking it's all real. But you don't understand. It's business. They ain't ready, Lord. It's business. I'm not saying that some don't care. But it's mainly business, honey. It's business. And they'll do something that God will tell them not to do. And think it's okay. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got to do this thing the way God says to do it. And to be honest with you, it's not going to be popular because Jesus wasn't popular. Y'all ain't even hearing me. Y'all ain't even hearing me. As a matter of fact, the leaders are more unto me, unto the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. I dare y'all to look at the resemblance. Hallelujah. Because let me go back. I, I'm going to have to break that thing down. Let me tell you how I really believe. And I had to do the research. And I had to come out the church to do the research. What am I saying? I had to leave church. Y'all y'all, y'all not ready for me. And when I began to go on this journey, I went to, I visited every religion. That's right. I was in Fijian church, African churches. I was in Indian churches. And, and I, I wanted to find a seven day Adventist. I'm not kidding. I want to find the truth. I, I did that in about seven months when I was in Sacramento, California. And after I completed my journey, I said, my God, what's going on? And then I went back. He said, I want you to go back to the beginning, Dan. I said, what is the beginning, God? He said, the tabernacle of Moses. When the tabernacle of Moses was built, which is, i.e., the first church, what they would do is that they would put everything, all, all, all the offerings, into a, to a pot. And what happened, or a bowl, or whatever you have, and what they would do is they would disperse it evenly. So everybody was blessed. Y'all ain't ready. Everybody was blessed. I still believe that today, that that's the way it should be. I'm sorry. And I don't care what nobody say. Hallelujah to his name. That's the way it began. But that's not the way it's, it, they think it's going to end. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we are in the season of exposure and death. You play with this Bible and God will kill you. You play, keep playing with God's people and you're going to die. I'm just being real with you. And I'm not going to call no names because I don't want nobody to get edged because it might be your pastor that, that would, had died. Y'all wonder why people are dying? Y'all wonder what's going on? God is letting us know, don't play with this. And people are playing over that money, over sex. Oh, come on, come on, somebody. I'm hearing all the stories. I'm not doing no videos on that. I'm going to tell y'all now. And, and quit asking me to. Because that's not my concern. Y'all know doggone well people nasty. Hallelujah. Because some of y'all nasty. Hallelujah. <laughs> that's why we got to keep the word. So we can keep that stuff down. Hallelujah. Y'all don't know how spirits work? you still the same person. The only thing is you got to keep, Lord, keep me because you know I'm crazy. Hallelujah. So y'all be playing crazy. So you, you, you get saved and you think you can still go play with what you used to play with. That's on you. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you though. So don't ask me to do no videos on that foolishness because you know you know better. Either you want to do it or you don't want to do it. Come on, somebody. You want to be saved? You, you, what did Denzel say in the movie? You want to be saved? You want to go home? What you want to do? You want to go to heaven? You want to go to hell? That's just how I feel about it. I'm not finna baby none of y'all. What? The devil is a lie. 
Mm -mm. We are grown. You know what you want to do. Hallelujah. Quit playing games. That's what y'all need to do. Quit playing. Because this ain't no game. And, and I, I, I hate that they, they play with y'all. I hate that they all about money. Even on Facebook. Y'all better start shutting these people down. If they don't have the spirit of God. Phew, I want food with it. God bless you. I don't have to hate you. I don't have to put my mouth on you. But God bless you. Keep it rolling. So I'm going to end it because, you know, this is what God said. Be careful. Be careful, people. Be careful how you live, please. It's not a game. Be careful. I pray to God that, that you really think about eternity. And, and if you die, what's going to happen? This is serious. For me, I don't mind telling you this testimony before I go. My mother, Carolyn Ann Brandon. I, I never... I never thought I would be who I am. Oh, if you go to Louisiana, they'll tell you. Mm, I would turn. I would shut the city down. Y'all don't believe me, huh? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you how it was. I was the only girl hanging with guys, so y'all can imagine. I was. Whoo, I wasn't nothing to play with. <laughs> Hello, still ain't right. But my whole point is, mom used to tell me, "You the one. You the one. You the one that raised hell. You the one." And I would be like, you know, yeah, right, whatever. If I could hug her and tell her and look in the eyes today and say, Mom, you were right about everything you said. Because I thought I knew, and that's how some of y'all doing. Y'all mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and everybody else, truth be told, not listening. You know, I, I thought they didn't know what they were talking about. Can I tell you something? Even if you don't want to listen, start listening. You'd be surprised what you learn. <laughs> y'all don't. Y'all ain't ready for me. This is too much old school for y'all. You'd be surprised what you learn if you just... Sometimes I talk a lot, but I'm a very good listener because I want to be better. I'm always, I'm always, I'm always studying. I'm, I, I want to be better. I don't ever think that I've arrived. And that's what some, what's wrong with some of y'all. Some of y'all think y'all have arrived because y'all got a, a, a degree or, a, a, you know, a, thing, a minister behind your name or an apostle, a prophet. And you think you arrived. Please get out of here with that foolishness. Them things will eat you up alive. You better go ahead. You better understand. This street out here for real. Y'all think the streets are bad. Let me tell you what's really bad. When you come in this and you're not properly prepared, them demons will eat you up alive. And you're wondering. <laughs> I'm just being real. Y'all better quit playing with this. Them demons not playing. How they say it? Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? I don't know what's going on. It's going dark, ain't it? I don't, I don't know what's going on with this thing. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here because they all, y'all don't notice they're always messing with me when I do lives. I don't know why. I, I know why. I'm going to tell y'all why. And, and I'm not trying to be bold. I, 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 well, I am trying to be bold. I'm not trying to be boastful. They know I carry that power, bro. Oh, yes. No, I didn't go against them, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they know I carry that power. Because I'm telling you, I, I'm in this world. And, and I'm praying every day, every night. For you, for me, for everybody. Truth be told. And please, if, if you have a prayer life, pray for me. If you ain't got a prayer life, don't pray for me. Don't ever, ever, ever pray for me. I'm just being real with y'all. All right, but this is serious. So I pray that you, you understand. Because there are some of us that care. Everybody's not about money. Everybody's not about the prestige and all that stuff that they think is about. Because when them people do that New World Order, <laughs> all the money in the world ain't going to save us. It's going to have the power of God. So while they playing, I'm preparing. And I pray that you prepare two people. This is not a game. It never was. Alrighty then. God bless you. I love you. I truly do. I love the people of God. Even the ones that are not. Because guess what? They don't know no better. So start loving people. Start loving people back to life. Come on somebody. The church got to change. We, we got to. Where's the love? It's so much. It, it, it's ridiculous. <sighs> That's why y'all don't know them young kids don't want to come in here. Why do you think Satan winning? Satan winning our children. Because we acting crazy. They ain't trying to come in the church with all that ridicule. They look like, wait a minute, y'all hypocrites. And my heart hurts for them. Because they dying in them streets. Because the church is not being the church. But let me get off here because I can't even see. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's weird. That's all right. They scared. Be very scared. Because guess what? I'm empowering people. And I'm going to do that to the day I die. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers. Because that's who you are.